In this video, I'll show you how to easily implement a tree chopping system into your game in Unity. This can add more realism to your game or better integrate loot into it. So let's not waste any time and let's get started right away. For a tree chopping system, you'll need two prefabs. First, the tree entirely and second, the both top and trunk separated. If you already have these, great, you can skip to the next step. If so far you only have your tree as a whole, I'll show you how to easily separate it now. For this we'll need Blender. First you need to import your object as a whole. To separate these both, you need to select your object, go to edit mode, press Ctrl R and select where you want to have it separated. I just use this position. Now we need to select the bottom part. If you're wondering why this whole thing is transparent, I activated the wireframe option and enabled the transparency. Now with these faces selected, just press P, selection, and now you've got two separated objects. Great. But you see, oh, the bottom or the upper side of these object are not filled. To fix this, we select the object, go again to edit mode and use the select mode edges. Now you want to select all faces and press F. And now it is fixed. Do the same for the other object. Okay, good. Now you have the tree as a completed form and as a top and trunk separated. We can just uh, make sure that every object has a collider. So for this complete tree uh, you see here, I just take the mesh collider. I think the box collider is okay for the trunk. And for the top of the tree, I'll take the capsule collider. This is going to be necessary for later. For presentation purposes, I use the starter pack and now add a crosshair to see where we are clicking later. So I just added a crosshair in the middle of the screen to see where we are clicking. So now we just create an eye hittable interface so that every tree or every object that can be hit can be hit by the player to have it more generalized. And this interface will only have the method execute. This script can be attached to all objects you want to destroy or getting chopped down. Now we also need a script that handles the tree chopping. So we add the tree chopping script to the tree. First, we want to implement the interface we just created and have a serialized field with a chopped down version of the tree. So we added game object, tree chopped. So the execution is gonna be executed when the tree should be chopped down and for that we need to instantiate the tree chopped on the current position with the current rotation. To let the tree not spawn inside of the current tree we want to destroy the current tree. So if we now click on the tree the tree as a complete should be destroyed and the separated version should be spawned. Let's see. Yeah, nice, you saw on the left, the tree chopped is there and the tree complete is gone. So to let the tree fall down, we need to add a rigid body to the top of the tree. And just have the tree a bit rotated. Just a bit. Of course, you could do this by script and add a force to the rigid body. But in this tutorial, we just stay very basic. So let's see if this is working. Ah, uh, this looks nice. It's already looking very nice, but I think we can add a bumpy material to the tree. So to do that, we just press right click, create and then physic material. Set the bounciness to 1, just to experiment with. And then add the physics material to the collider. Yeah, it looks far better now. But at this point, I think you need to experiment with a number to see which version you are satisfied with. Yeah, and that's it. That was a tutorial on how to chop trees in Unity with C Sharp. If you could learn something, then please hit the like button and subscribe to this channel for more tutorials or other stuff related to Unity. And yeah, thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Bye bye.